see. Hi guys. Sorry, I apparently was not filming. I'm trying to do a unboxing of my Cricut here maker. This is the Cricut maker and it came today. Has more tools, more materials, more possibilities included in the box. We have our um, premium fine point blade, a rotary blade, and a fine point pen. Additional accessories would be the knife blade. I believe that's for cutting that balsa. Okay, so it would be the knife blade, and then the scoring wheel, the double scoring wheel, the washable fabric pen, and the calligraphy pen. So let's get into this. It says, let's get started right on top. Okay, to begin, go to Cricut dot com slash setup. I will be doing that. Okay, and in here it says materials for your first project. Open me first. So you've got a nice envelope here. I feel like Alice in Wonderland. It says open me first. So let's follow directions. Okay, so I have to go here and I'll find every resource I need to master my new machine. And it tells me to bookmark that page. It says during setup, we're gonna make a practice project with materials in the box, fun. Make a little something. We're going, the steps are, we're going backwards because I, I, hold on a minute. Let's start at the beginning. So one is unleash this beauty, plug in and power on your fabulous new Cricut machine. Two, get connected. Just go to cricut.com slash setup and we'll walk you through every step. Four, uh, excuse me. Three is make a little something. During setup, we'll make a practice project with materials in the box, fun. And then, Bookmark this page. The create page will find every resource you need to master your new machine. Enjoy, people, enjoy. Okay, so I will put those in here. Okay, and these are my materials for the first project, so let's see what we got here. Ooh, we got some fabric. Um, we've got, what do we have? We have a fabric sample. We have a cardstock sample. We have another cardstock sample. So that will be fun to make a little project. Okay. I ordered champagne and I think they sent me rose, though I don't know if they put it in the wrong box. Jimmy was mentioning something rose when he brought this in and I'm like, no, 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 I ordered champagne. Not that I really care, but um, I did order champagne and I'm trying to see. Okay guys, so I have the Cricut out of the box. I just unboxed it. I want to just go over what is in this. So just so you know, you know, there are extra accessories you have to get. You have your USB cable here, okay? Put that there right now. You have your, um, this is the fine point. This is the 0.4 tip pen. You have your rotary blade and housing. And you have your rotary uh, blade cover. Okay, your fine point plate is in there. Then you have with this, you get two mats. You get the light grip mat and you get the fabric grip mat. So we have that. You get the materials for your first project, which here is this piece of material, swatch of material and you have two pieces of cardstock. Okay, so put that there. You have your warranty right here, okay? This is for Open Me First. This is our instructions right here. So we have one, unleash this beauty, 
plug in and power on your fabulous new Cricut machine. To get connected, just go to cricut.com forward slash setup. We'll walk you through the every step. Three, make a little something. During setup, we'll make practice project with materials in the box fun. Four, bookmark this page. That's cricut.com forward slash create. You'll find every resource you need to master your new machine. Enjoy. Okay, and then we have the Cricut Maker Welcome Book right here. Full of full color photos, ideas, different uh, information about the different types of products. And then we have our power cord right here. And we also had everything that was packed in this Let's Get Started is what I've showed you that was in the box. So we have to attach our power cord. So let's take this out and put our power cable. So did we do it? Did we power it up? Get connected? Just did, wait, unleash this beauty. Open this up. Should be okay. a power electron. Like oh, here it is. Okay, so we've done that. Number number one. Number two. Just go to cricket.com setup, and we'll walk you through every step. Okay, so I'm installing the app now. And let's see. Let me go back to my page. It's loading up. All right, so that, that, that takes care of step two, and we're going to take that, and then the next thing is going to be make a little something, so that should be fun. While we're doing that, we can look at that there's a storage space here where you can store things, other blades, your pens, things of that nature. Don't you love that saying, things of that nature? Yes, things of that. I, I, I worked with somebody that constantly said things of that nature along with the word subsequently. Um, you could actually play like a drinking game with how many times she said subsequently and uh, things of that nature. She also said happy uh, horseshite. Yeah. All that. She used to say all oh, that happy horseshite. Okay. That's another story. Let's see now. All right. So our, our app is loaded. Now enter. Okay. I'm just going to get this USB cord. I don't know exactly what I'm doing with this USB cord. Um, okay, so I'm creating my account. Perfect. Okay. So now we have. Um, I have an email already. Welcome. Okay. So it's just showing me around a little bit same okay done so are you going to walk me through i have a cricket we choose the one cricket explorer family cricket maker cricket maker we have so i click that and what is it walking me through now it's not actually walking me through anything at this point so i would find i mean it says new project right but it's not walking me through this so cricket people um it's not walking me through this this part okay we need a little bit of a something on that okay um so i'm going to try to go to that website again and see what happens it opens to the same page so um guys Machine setup. You see, the, uh, the, your instructions were not clear. New machine setup. Okay, welcome again. And get started. Power on the machine. We have done that. So power on the machine. We've done that. Continue. Connect. I'm here to check. Connect your machine. So on your device, open settings, search Bluetooth, select your Cricut, use the PIN number, zero 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 okay so we have to go to our settings 
Okay, and then to Bluetooth. Um, Bluetooth. Okay, and it should. It did. It, yep. Yeah, it discovered it right there. There's our maker. So now we're going to enter the pin zero 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 zero. Zero 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 pair and we shall see someone's making a lot of noise that's not healthy AMS it's kind of it's not good AMS or it's activating. Okay. So we're still waiting to pair this. I don't even know what this oh, thing is. Oh, it is connected. It's connected. Okay. So now that it's connected, now we can go back to our page. Okay. See, that's what I don't like. And that to set up, go to, okay, we, I did. Okay. Slot for mobile device. Okay. Okay, now I just missed... Um, okay, okay, I'm going to go back to that website, okay, so update firmware, let's see, let's make sure our firmware is updated, so we'll just click update, and make sure that is updated. The power button light will change color during this process. Okay, so I'm just going to put this down, you can see, and the power button should change color during the process. I don't see it changing color. Oh, and then your other blade is in here. This is the uh, fine point blade, I think, or whatever that blade is. Um, and to you pull these forward to get blades in and out. There, like I said, and, and there are optional accessories to get with your machine. So we're going to make a card right now. We're going to make a simple card. Okay, continue. Let's see how to do this. This is where you browse, okay. Now we're gonna look, take a look at this easy to make card, tap on it. Okay, so we're tapping on it. All right, now it says here you'll find the, okay, so make it, right? This is where your project gets sorted automatically onto individual mats, okay. So set material. All right, so let's get our mat. We're gonna take our, I'm gonna peel the, this off, this mat, okay? We're gonna put our mat down and we're gonna take our paper, which it says our medium cardstock Right, and we're going to put it, it looks like right here on this corner. Like that. All right, so we've got that. Um, and then it says to load the pen. Open the clamp. Okay, so this is our pen. This is this. We're going to load our pen now. So open the clamp. Hold the clamp up while pushing the pen down. Honey, can I open that up for you while you're doing this? Why? It's just it's it's a little thing. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to help you out here. Okay, so I th it, they don't tell you to take the cap off the pen, but I'm sure you have to take the cap off the pen. Now, it says, hold the clamp up while pushing the pen down until the arrow on the pen disappears. Well, there's the arrow. So hold the clamp up. How do you hold the clamp up? Oh, that maybe? There we go. They mean this whole, I would say call this a housing. Oh boy, sometimes. Anyway, close clamp and then select continue. Okay, we have. Now it says load the fine point blade, but I think we are all loaded in there. We are. Our blade is loaded in there, so we don't have to worry about that. Place the white cardstock on the mat. I did that already. Aligning the top left corner of the grid. Okay, we did. All right. Position the mat under both of the guides. 
Okay, these are our guides. So, um, okay, so let's position the mat like that, okay? And to keep the mat pushed against the rollers and press the load button. Okay, this is our load button, all right? Okay, and it doesn't, okay. Now it says, press go, turn to cut, and turn on to cut and write 10 times faster. It's fast mode. Okay, I don't know, should we try it in fast mode? I'm scared, but I guess so, because Jimmy's rushing me. At this step, you will interact with your machine. Oh, okay. So it says, uh, I'm going to interact with my machine. Okay, I'm going to press this, the flash and go button, and interact with my machine. Oh dear. Okay, that was scary. Okay, it's, it's calibrating. It's collaborating. It's calibrating. Let me put you down towards so you can see. Okay, so it's, now it's spitting it. Oh no, it's not done. All right. It's cutting, it says now it's cutting. It's cutting now, look at that. That's pretty amazing what it's doing. Okay, so it says now unload the pen and the mat. Press the load unload to unload the mat. Okay, so we unload, unload, and, and the flash is to tell us. So it's very easy to use, very user friendly. Now there is our card that it drew, okay? And we have to grab our pen out. So it says to get the pen, open the clamp and remove the pen and close the clamp. So they, they miss one and recap. Cricket, you have to say recap and uncap. Okay, and then let's put our pen over here. And then let's see, it says, to remove the cardstock without curling, gently bend the mat until one edge releases. Okay, flip mat, press cardstock against a flat surface and then slowly pull away. All right, so let's try this. We've got to take this now and we gently try to Okay, apparently I don't think I was done with the card now. I know you couldn't see the card well. So let me show you and we'll see if we can finish this card. There's my smile that was there. I might put the, I was wondering what the fabric and stuff was for. So let me make sure you can see here. Okay, so this was the card. Whoops. This was the card, you see how it was cut out there. 
um, smile. But then there's a way that you cut this fabric out and it becomes the kite. And then this can be added. How does this go? I think it's added somehow here where it makes like a blue sky somehow in there. I think it'd be like you are able to cut something out for you and, and down here, uh, I don't know. So let's see, I'm gonna try to go through this. You can even make an envelope for this card. So it's telling me now this, right? To position, get my fabric mat and we have a little kite shape there. And we've got to change the blade to the rotary blade. So this just lifts right out there. And I'm going to take that out. I'm going to take our rotary blade. Careful not to touch the blade. I imagine it's very sharp. And now I'm not sure if this can just go in one way or what. This is where it's a little bit lacking in instructions. Okay, so I'm just going to try it like this then. Hopefully that's the right way. Okay. So let me put this cardstock over here. And grab this large swatch of material. And we'll grab our fabric grip. Take this off. And I don't know if people were telling me tricks. So we're going to have some live Cricut classes if you want to be in the live Cricut class where you can either share some tips, share a project, or just come on to get tips and a project. So I'm putting my fabric like this, and then I believe I just put it under the guides, right? And then I, I feed it through. Let's hope for the best, guys. What's the worst that's gonna happen? I'm gonna need to get another piece of fabric? Okay. I don't know that I've installed blade correctly or whatever. Let me look at our app here again. It says press go, uh, loaded, okay, press the, oh this, okay, let's see what happens. Are you scared? Are you scared? I'm not. Load next mat. What is our next mat? It says unload. So, so let's see what happened. Can you see now? I'm just going to. Oh, there's our kite, guys. I was getting a little nervous. It didn't look like it was cutting a kite shape. So there's our kite. Okay. So let's pop this off. And where's our card? Over here. So we can use some type of adhesive, right, to pop our kite onto there. And it keeps saying a 12 by 12 mirror cut. Okay. So I think this is the next step, the mirror cut. Well, what's the worst that can happen, right? All right, let me put the plastic back on the fabric mat. And I'll take the plastic off this one. 
and okay so let's load it through like this because I've got to do something with this model all right so we're going to put this like that and we're going to pop it through okay and hit feed and all right so i'm going to put my uh, i'm not sure if this is the medium or the um i'm just going to say we're at medium cardstock Okay, so I have to load the fine point blade. Okay, so I'm going to take the rotary cutter off, and apparently I did. And then we're going to put the fine point blade back in. And we're going to press the cricket button. Cricket. The first thing I want to make for this machine is a cricket decal, so I always remember how to say it. My daughter really screwed me up. So this just gave us this blue. Screw this for us. And I'm not sure except oh maybe, hold on a minute. I think I might see how. I think it goes through the back like this. There we go. And I think it goes through over here too. Hang on. There, that's making more sense. Okay, and now we just glue this. Fabric on that, and yeah. so we've got that. And what if we wanted to make an envelope? Right? As rain. Um, let me see if it's going to tell us. So we've got. Yes, let me see here. Okay, here's our envelope. So this one, medium cardstock, copy paper. Okay, we need to have a scoring wheel. My mama doesn't have a scoring wheel, so we have to wait on that. I'm gonna get a scoring wheel. I'm gonna order the right tools this weekend, but look how cute that card is. Okay, so that is the finished product and I could have glued this a little bit better and um, whoops but that's for a card we're going to do a lot more than cards with this I actually didn't even purchase this product at all really for any of the paper craft I'm more interested in the fabric and the decals but who knows I make it really into paper craft I did see Martha Stewart do a really nice paper um, wreath 
and that was really nice. So we'll see how that goes. And I did learn a tip that about these mats, and that'll be in the Cricut class. All right. Um, so let me just put these. So anyway, there's a nice little card. All right, and I'm going to brush up and see what else we can find out, but I wanna get this video up for you guys, okay? So I'll be back in a little bit. Thank you so much. Let me know what you think.